Are you ready for some fierce competition? Welcome to Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey. I'm Ashley Leach. And I'm Francesco Graziano Jr. Over 40 goalie and shooter teams from across the state have come to the Newington Arena for the Connecticut qualifying event leading to the TD Bank Mini One-on-One, -on -one, sponsored locally by Argueta Multi-Services and Smart Ice. The winners from today's competition will represent Connecticut at the Boston Bruins Mini One-on-One -on -one Finals at the TD Garden in the fall. But first, they'll have to beat out some stiff Connecticut competition. Today, we're bringing you the Squirt and Pee Wee first round action. Upcoming episodes will follow the quarter, semi, and final action. And we'll also see strong girls U10 and U12 teams take the ice. Our first teams are pumped and ready to go, so let's get started. How does it feel to come out on top on the first round already? Um, I think it felt good. I think it was a good confidence builder. What was your strategy? Uh, I just cut off the angles and did my little routine and just watch him come down and stay square to the puck. Uh, I looked where the biggest opening was and shot for it. You guys are a set of twins and you're a goalie shooter team. How does it feel to have your brother on your side? Feels great. Yeah, it feels really good to know that he'll be there for me. Why do they call you con Concrete Preet? Um, well, well, they say I don't let in a lot of goals, so they call me Concrete, and whenever I let in a the goal, they say the concrete wasn't dry yet. <laughs> So what was going through your mind as you were going and skating up to that goalie? Uh, I was just looking for a spot to put it. Uh, when it got later, I knew I had to start scoring. How does it feel to come out on top during the first round? What do you guys have planned for next round? Uh, something tricky. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> What is going through your mind right now? What do you have to do to make it to continue all the way to the end? Well, for me, it's just keep trying and just blocking. Try to get the goalie to move side to side and try to get the open net. You guys are a smaller team compared to the guys you just went up against. What did you guys have to do to change, or what did you have to change to beat them? Um, we just had to go fast because and get around them because that's one thing they couldn't do with their size. Yeah, I eventually realized that he was just going to keep going to the same size, so I figured out what he was going to do before he could do it. This event sponsored by Argueta Multi-Services, your trusty standard for all things industrial cleaning. For more information and quotes, please visit ArguetaMultiservices.com. Bring hockey home. Play hockey in your backyard, basement, or garage any time of the year. Smart Ice Rinks offer a superior glide, long life, modular synthetic ice system for hockey training like no other. 3D Hockey and Home Ice Advantage are authorized dealers in Connecticut and New York. Check them out today. So you guys are brothers, how does it feel to have your brother on your team? It feels pretty good and I have a lot of trust in him. It feels good having him, me see him score goals, be, get um, hat tricks, it feels really good. So what do you guys plan on doing differently this coming round than when you did this round? To get more speed on the shoot, 
shot and move my feet to save more and not let any in. What do you guys plan on doing to make it to the final round? Um, well, for me, I'm going to try and um, just use my skill to make a lot of saves. Okay. What about you? Um, I'm probably going to try even better moves. What did you guys do this round to kind of take over that team you were going against? I looked for an opening and I shot it when I saw one. Well, I looked when we were warming up and see where the player would shoot. So I hear that your nickname is Nails. What's the story behind that? Uh, I guess I'm kind of tough. <laughs> tough as nails? Yeah. How excited are you guys to be going on to the next round? What's the best part? The best part is playing again because I really want the ice time and it feels just great. The best part is winning the trophy that I could watch a bot that I could go on the ice. What did you guys do this round that you plan on changing for next round? Save more pucks. Same thing. What was the hardest part of being in a competition like this? The pressure. How does it feel to have your twin brother on your team? It's great. It's fun. I have so much trust in him, so. Now I know you guys had lost in the first round, but you had a sweet comeback. How does it feel? Um. I'm just happy that we were picked first in the bracket. Wow, those players sure were fired up. Thanks for joining us for today's first round coverage. Stay tuned for our next episode when the quarter and semifinal action heats up because you just gotta love Connecticut hockey.